The purpose of this video is to cover part one of the final project and hopefully answer some frequently asked questions. So you have a three part final project that you'll be completing in the last few weeks of class. In the first part, you're going to be creating an Excel spreadsheet and your scenario is that you are planning a trip to Disney World and your family and friends have elected you to plan your trip. So you know where you're going, you know you're going to be staying on Disney property at one of their resorts, and you also know you're going to be using the Disney dining plan, but it's going to be up to you to decide which dining plan and which resort. So you're going to follow the directions to create a spreadsheet that includes two sheets that you will name and color code. And then you get to choose a Disney resort. Um, your dates that you're going to use to travel will be October 3rd through 6th, and you're going to click the link here to decide which resort you are staying at. Now, when you click the link, you will see quite a few options um, because there are lots of Disney resorts that are actually on property. So you'll fill in the correct dates here, and then if you want to narrow down your search by price range, resort location, resort category, or characteristics, you can do that. To get the full price for your nights, you'll want to make sure that you put in the correct dates that I gave you in the project. And then, once you see a resort that you might kind of be interested in, you can just click the average per night. And it will tell you the price per night and once you add it to the cart you'll see the full price. Once you click on any of your choices you also get more information about that particular resort which you will need to fill in the Word document that you're going to be using to create your spreadsheet. So let's say that I want to stay at Coronado Springs Resort. Once I click check availability it will show me whether or not there are room openings for the time and days that I want to go. And I also see that there are choices here. So I can choose standard view, water view, preferred room, and so on. And then if I click add to cart, then it will actually tell me um, a full price. But you can just use the price per night if you would like. That is fine. For the purposes of this project, we're not going to be using tickets and you just want that subtotal there for your resort stay. So once you decide on your three resorts that are your favorites, you're going to fill in the table. And everything that's highlighted yellow here are things that you have options on. So you can see that I have the resort name along with the details, whether it's a preferred, standard, water view, etc. What category the resort falls under and the price. I did mine per night, but if you want to put the full price, you can. Once you're done with that, you're going to follow these directions to enter all of your data onto the resort tab of your spreadsheet. And then you can move on to your dining plan choice. You can read here about the dining plan and you can click the link to see restaurant choices. You are going to be, I'm just scrolling down here, filling in these three tables. So you're going to choose one breakfast, one place to eat lunch, and another place to eat dinner. So even though you are staying for four nights or three nights, you're only planning your meals for one day just to get an idea. So follow the directions here, click on the link, or you can use any of these links to find menus for tons of different Disney restaurants and fill out your sheet here. Once you have filled it out, use the information to follow the directions in number 6 on the dining tab of your Excel spreadsheet. And then when you're finished, make sure to answer the additional questions. You want to make sure to save this Word document after you have filled it in because you do need to submit both the Word document and your Excel spreadsheet. And just to kind of give you an idea, here is one example of um, a completed part of a spreadsheet. And this is obviously just the resort tab. Here's an example of a dining sheet. So you can see what some other students have done there. Yours might look completely different and that's fine. You have total choice. So when you're ready to submit, you're going to click on the assignment name and then you're going to click browse computer and you are going to browse to your spreadsheet. After you attach it, you're going to click browse again and browse to your second file. And when you have both of them attached, you will click submit. Before submitting, make sure to check out the rubric to make sure that you've answered everything.